So, as you know, Miss Marvel not doing very good for Disney Plus. It's reportedly the lowest premiere that they've had of any Marvel Plus series, which is pretty bad. Now, this character has never been popular. There's been like this artificial push to make her popular in the comic books, but no one's ever grabbed them. Like they they just don't sell. They've had to reboot this book several times. Nobody wants anything to do with it. But they continue to push her like she's the next coming of Wolverine. Like this is supposed to be the next most popular character ever. But it never picks up. And you can see it right here. 775K U.S. households watched the premiere of Miss Marvel while less than the other MCU movies. It was a hit with hashtag Gen Z. Viewers age 20 through 24 watched at the highest rate of any MCU show. And it drew a more diverse audience. But it still had a pretty low premiere. And you compare that to Moon Knight at 1.8 million, which is a lot better. Even Hawkeye, 1.5 million. And... You know, I would say that this Hawkeye series wouldn't have been so uh, high up if they had been honest about it. I mean, it barely had Hawkeye in it. But the Moon Knight series is pretty impressive. That's a brand new character. Brand new character. So that series did pretty good. Miss Marvel did not. And the excuses for it are already flying. You've got Forbes over here putting out articles like this. Why Miss Marvel viewership is reportedly much lower than other MCU series. Let's let's take a look at this and see what their reasons are for why this series did bad. So it's a brand new hero. Most all these other shows were based on existing high-profile characters. Not true. Because Moon Knight wasn't an existing character. And that show did pretty damn good. So that's not an excuse. I mean, it's right here. Moon Knight. 1.8 million. A lot of people tuned in for Moon Knight. So that I don't buy that. That's not an excuse. This one, its lead actress is completely unknown. I would say again, a lot of the people that have been cast in these roles in the MCU are completely unknowns. I don't think that that really matters nowadays. It doesn't matter who plays somebody in Hollywood anymore. Like, star power is pretty much gone. What matters now is the franchise. So you get a franchise, you get a character, and then you play that character. Then it matters. It really doesn't matter who you cast. Uh, the The day of the, the star power, the name brand, it's kind of over. It doesn't matter as much as it used to. It really doesn't matter who they cast. As long as she is a good actor and can play the part, nobody cares. So I don't buy that one either. And then it's very clearly aimed at a younger crowd. What does that matter? I mean, this is comic books characters. They're all aimed at a younger crowd. (laughs) Every single show is aimed at a younger crowd. They, of course, want kids to watch it. They don't say, oh, we want old people to watch it. No, we want younger people to watch it. So, no, I, I don't go with that one either. Pairing it with Obi-Wan doesn't even, I don't think it even launches on the same day, but even if it did, Obi-Wan takes up one hour of your time, if even that. So, no, I don't buy that one either. If anything, that should help it because you've got more eyes on the platform. The marketing was not great. It's never been great. The character just doesn't sell. And what's her religion got to do with anything? Nobody cares about that. Like it's it's just she's just not an interesting character. She's never been an interesting character. The, her costume is awful. Her powers are awful. She's never she's just never been well done. And trying to force her on people has never worked either. It's the same thing with Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel has never been that popular in the comics either because they try to force her on you. They try to make these characters like, you you better like them. You better like them. You better watch them. You better read them. And that just doesn't work. The popularity of a character is like a natural thing that just happens. You know, when they made Wolverine, they didn't know he was going to be a a massive hit. They didn't know he was going to be the most popular X-Men. They didn't know that. 
it was naturally it was a natural progression. People just liked him, and he exploded in popularity. And that's just the way it is. You can't just force that onto something. And when you do it, it tends to kind of backfire. They want to push all of these characters like they're the greatest thing since sliced bread, and that's just that just doesn't work like that. You can't force the popularity out of you can't force popularity onto a character. But that's they've been trying to do that with this character for years, and it's never worked. Her comic book has been a failure time and time again. They're doing a lot of this stuff with Miles Morales, too, by the way. Look at this comic book. Miles Morales had some natural popularity, but they've been pushing him hard now, and it's been kind of a turnoff. This book has been awful. They've been doing this, what if Miles Morales was this character? And I, I don't, it's a what if book, so who cares? I like what if books, but this is just awful. Look at this, and no one's talking about this in the media, of course. But I, I'm blown away they just let this go. So you have this series. They've turned Asgard into Brooklyn. Literally, it's got graffiti all over the place. They give them Jordans, stuff like that. Like, look at this stuff. I want to show you this. So here's Mignor, and he's got. He says, "Hammer time." It's got. It's got graffiti all over it. You do this. He's got. He's. He's like, got a hammer on his shoes. He's supposed to be like Jordans. They give him a fade. Look. Listen to this rap. They put a rap in here. Look at this. He's got style. He's got flair to boot with his kicks. You know he's in hot pursuit. Old enough to know that he don't know all. He wants to have a ball before the fall. All his dreams risen from the clouds above. He brings the thunder. Best believe it, bruh. This is a real comic book. I want you to understand that. This is real. This You can go buy this in the stores right now. Look at this. Mjolnir. By Odin's fade, I command you. This is real dialogue in this comic. It's a real Marvel comic book. This is this is pretty disgusting in my opinion. Like it's kind of racist and stereotype. Like this is a big like racist stereotype for this character. And it's like no one's talking about, it, no one's saying anything. Like he's got a hoodie, for God's sake. You see this? Like Thor's armor, it's a hoodie. Like, wh who proved this? Bunch of woke white people on editorial think this is a good idea. And it's it's laughable. Laughable. I don't know what's going on at Marvel anymore, but they they really need somebody to go in there and hold them accountable for the awful shit that they do. Because this is a stupid comic book. Stupid comic book that should never have been approved. But this is what happens. This is the problem when you don't need to sell things on success. Because I guarantee you, Disney doesn't care that these comic books don't make money. No one's buying this shit. Everybody's buying manga now. I've done plenty of videos to show that. But when you don't have to make any money, when there's no, there's no, there's no marks for success, you can just put whatever the hell you want out. They don't care. Disney uses this as a proving ground. They can just do whatever they want. They can put garbage like this out. They don't care if it sells or not. It's disgusting. I'll tell you what you should care about locals. So I'm over on locals. Great platform. There's a link in the description. It's free to join. If you don't want to support YouTube, but you want to support me, this is an option over here. I don't have Patreon. I don't have Subscribestar. You can come over here. You're not giving any money to YouTube. What you are doing is supporting a platform that wants to help creators. This is like Twitter, but it's our own community, which is pretty cool. And we can say a lot more stuff over here that we can't say on Twitter. So I encourage you to make an account and come over here. As you can see, there's already a bunch of great creators that you can check out, and uh, everyone's got their own community. So check it out. Also, leave me some comments on what you think about this Thor comic. What do you think about Miss Marvel? 
Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out.